Hopkinton School Superintendent Dr. Carol Cavanaugh joined us on the Hangout Hour for a school's update. Part of the conversation involved the return of MCAS testing this year. The MCAS test um, will be held this year, but it's going to be a sort of shortened version of itself. And, you know, I think that school districts have been arguing with the Commissioner of Education that to administer MCAS testing takes an awfully long time, and, and it truly does, and I think he understands that. But at the same time, the commissioner will say, but we have no real benchmarking to know where kids are across Massachusetts in terms of their math and ELA growth. And that's really important information for us, especially as we go into next year's planning and you know, hopefully with the pandemic behind us. So I think that what Commissioner Jeffrey Riley has tried to do is arrive at some form of compromise. The test has been shortened. You know, he says he's not going to use the results to do any district ranking. So, you know, you won't be noted as a district in need of improvement. But what the real goal of the testing this year will be is to look at where children are and what we need to do in terms of intervention to catch them up to grade level, you know, if that's what we need to do in particular districts, given the fact that, you know, some time on learning has been lost this year. Dr. Kavanaugh updated on the COVID-19 situation in Hopkinton schools. This is a busy week. And um, the, you know, Sean and I are in communication every single day. The school nurses are out straight. And, you know, I do worry a little bit about them because they are in a place where their first role is to be clinical. So they've got kids who are coming down who, you know, need an infusion or kids who are coming down who have lost a tooth or kids who are coming down who, you know, are socially or emotionally dysregulated. And this is what our nurses do all day, but now we're dealing with COVID too. So they've got kind of a double job. Um, I have the data in front of me here. And at this point in time, we have had 10 students in the Hopkinton Public Schools um, test positive since January 1st. And, you know, it's January 6th today. I think what we're seeing mostly though, uh, travel is causing a lot of kids to need to quarantine. Right. But I think the the places where kids seem to be, you know, transmitting or catching the virus um, are, you know, in house parties. So, you know, a group of girls have a sleepover and then all of a sudden turns out one is is COVID positive And now we've got five other girls who are who are quarantined um, or, you know, athletics. Hockey has been a place where, you know, we're starting to see people test positive and, and that's been a, a little bit concerning to us. And, you know, I'm hearing from people all over the state that hockey has been, you know, a little bit dicey. So, yeah, I think, you know, house parties and athletics and those sort of things are the, are the things that have been the worst for us. I am very worried about what's going to happen when, you know, we are now reaching phase two. So that will mean that Sean and Casey are going to need to start vaccinating people. So that will put an additional strain on us. What will happen if, I mean, you know, the nurses aren't doing the contact tracing, but Sean and Casey are, and then they report back and then the nurses do a lot of the maintenance with the families and, and determine when kids can come back to school and kind of walk, well, they don't determine it, but they kind of walk families through the, the return. And I'm just worried about what the strain of that is going to look like if we're doing contact tracing, maintenance, vaccinating. You know, I'm, I'm still, I, you know, it's nice that we have been one of those few school districts that has not had to close for an extended period of time. And I'm hoping that we're able to maintain that as we come into these these next few months. Right now, things are a little bit grim with the number of, of people who are testing positive, but so far so, so good in keeping our doors open. You can see the entire conversation airing on HCAM and on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash HCAMTV.